Bienvenidos, welcome to another episode of Spain on Pork today. We're making an incredible seafood dish that's very simple yet has an extraordinary flavor to it. Oven roasted cod with saffron and lemon. This is one of those dishes that stay with you forever because it has such an amazing flavor. It's very healthy, easy to make, and done in about 20 minutes. Now to make this recipe, I'm using some frozen cod that I thought out just because it makes things a lot cheaper. But if you prefer, you can use fresh cod in this recipe. And also make sure you use some high quality saffron as this is what gives this dish that magical flavor. As always, I'm using saffron threads from Golden Saffron. This is some great one, high quality premium saffron, folks. It does not get better than this. Link below where you guys can get some. All right, let's get started with the cod. I've got a filet here that's 390 grams. This is about 14 ounces. Again, I bought this frozen and thought it out. I'm gonna pat it down with some paper towels. This is a very important step when using frozen fish that you've thought out as it removes all the moisture and liquid inside of the fish to give it a beautiful texture. Then I'm gonna cut it in half to end up with two seven ounce filets and season them with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we're gonna leave our cod fillets to rest while we get the rest of the ingredients ready. That way that sea salt can remove any of that extra moisture inside of the fillets. Next up, we're gonna make our lemon saffron sauce. I'm gonna finely mince two cloves of garlic. Very important to use a clean cutting board and a clean knife. That way there's no cross contamination. And add the finely minced garlics into a mortar. Next, I'm gonna grab one sprig of fresh rosemary. Give it a quick rinse under some cold water and pat it dry. And then remove the needles from the stem and give them a quick chop. And add the chopped rosemary into the mortar with the garlic. And then pinch in half a teaspoon of saffron threads. Now using a pestle, I'm gonna pound down on this mixture until I form a paste. Once everything's well combined, I'm gonna grab one lemon, squeeze in about one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice, and add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And mix this all together until it's well combined. And make sure you cut a couple thin slices of lemon. This is for our next step. Okay, next up, let's grab a baking pan and line it with foil paper. I'm gonna add a couple slices of the lemon into the pan. And add the cod flakes on top of the slices of lemon. This is gonna allow the lemon to really infuse into the cod to give this fish an incredible flavor. For the final step, let's grab our lemon saffron sauce and evenly divide it on top of both fillets. Making sure to pour that sauce all over each fillet. Now we're gonna add our cod into a preheated oven, bake and broil option, 250 degrees Celsius, which is 475 degrees Fahrenheit. Very important to put this in the middle of the oven. After 15 to 16 minutes, I'm gonna take that cod out of the oven. Add the cod fillets to a dish. For garnish, I'm gonna grab a couple of the lemon slices that were in the oven and add them to the plate. And top it off with some fresh rosemary. Okay guys, our dish is done. How amazing does this look? And seriously, the aromas coming out of this kitchen are absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to give this a try. This looks amazing, here we go. Beautiful flavors to this dish. And first things first, that cod is perfectly roasted. What an incredible texture to it. It's not overcooked, it's not undercooked. So important to cook your fish correctly. I'm telling you guys, 250 degrees Celsius, 475 degrees Fahrenheit, heat in the bottom and top, 15 to 16 minutes, amazing texture. And the flavors between that saffron, that amazing lemon and the rosemary, it's a marriage made in heaven. You guys saw this, very easy to make done in about 20 minutes. Before I go, I'd like to give out a quick shout out to one of my patrons, Michael and Kelly Thompson. 
Thank you so much for all your support. I truly appreciate you guys. If you guys would like to support Spin on a Fork, you'll find my patron link in the description box below. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.